the quality of a model depends upon its data set the more error free and high quality the data set will be the more the higher will be the quality of the large language model in this video i am going to introduce you to this new tool called as 51 which is an open source tool for building high quality data sets and computer vision models i'll be showing you how you can install it and then more importantly how you can play around with it they have got this quite cool github repo where they not only have there are the links to the website tutorials and how you can try it out yourself and how you can install it so let's get right into it the first thing i'm going to do is to create a google colab notebook where i'll be using this and on the top right you can see that i already have selected my gpu instance t4 now in the next step what we need to do we need to install the 51 the command is very simple pip install 51 let me run it shouldn't take too long let's wait for it to finish if you are using google colab or any ubuntu instance then you also need to run this command pip install 51 db ubuntu 2020.04 and that shouldn't take too long so let's wait for it to finish that's done now you need to import the 51 library which you can simply do like this and same would you do in your python code if you are using it in any code editor that's done too now in the next step what we are going to do we are going to load a data set provided by 51 itself so let's run it and it's a very small data set so it shouldn't take too long to download and it comprises of i guess around 200 images and that's already done awesome let's print it to see what's in it so simply print data set and there you go so it has 200 samples the media type is image and there are a few other information about how the ground uh, truth uniqueness and all that stuff which is a metadata of it and we'll be populating it too shortly okay so that is the installation now let's launch it and the good thing about it is that we can even launch it in the google colab and it will launch it in um, in the cell so let's wait and it is going to create a session object there you go so this is your 51 already done here okay cool now in order uh, to watch it you just need to once you have launched it it is going to go down and then you can simply click on show to plus there and then simply you can say session dot show like this and let's wait for it to finish let's wait for it to load it takes a bit of a time to load because of the size so it took around 10 seconds to load it myself after i ran uh, the session dot show so there we have on the right hand side we have all of these sample images and on the left hand side we have metadata and other um, related data to this we can even sort it if you want to sort it with the unique images click on add stage here and then just type sort by and select sort by and then, sorry because it's a google colab so it is a bit the interface is a bit flaky type uniqueness here click on submit and then just enter true enter and that's it and you can see that it has sorted it by uniqueness now all the images which are most unique are at the top that is good now in the next step which we are going to do is um, if you want to click on any image let me click it here then you can see that it has labeled it like what is airplane this is the airplane and then it has also assigned it 
some values here like what is the confidence and all id and all that stuff click outside of it and you'll be back if you scroll down for example let me click on this one and then you can see it has identified which one is a horse which one is a person and so on and so forth and if you hover on the prediction it is, it is telling you more um, information metadata that what is the confidence and label and id click outside of it and you're back now another feature of um, this 51 is the data set views and that is the real power of this 51 creating a data set view enables you to study a specific subset of the samples or fields of your data set and you can create data uh, set views both in python or in the app and just to uh, let you know that not only you can see this interface in this google collab cell but you can also launch a desktop application and i will show you later how you can do it okay now data set views uh, can be created as i said in this app too now in order to create it you need to use this code let me show you let me paste it here first you need to simply run this command session dot show as i showed you earlier and it is going to show you the whole view because we are not filtering it or anything and if you want to just check at the first record of this view you will simply do print session dot view dot first and that is going to tell you which is the first record so this is the first record and all of the metadata around it okay now if you want to filter it then you for example um let's create a view that contains only five most unique samples in the data set and only predictions on those samples with confidence greater than 0.5 let me click here on the next cell so let me make it five and then confidence level is greater than 0.5 let me run it and let's wait for the data set uh, the images to load and i'm expecting only five images in the output where confidence level would be greater than 0.5 so let's wait for it to load as i said earlier it takes a bit of a time to load due to the i think my 44 p gpu from google Colab. let's wait you can see it is loading now and there you go so we have five most unique images and if you look at this images uh, this image click here and then you can see here that this is the image with the confidence more than 0.5 and then it has uh, correctly identified the car and the bird and how cool is that and there are a lot of other information on the side if you want to delve deeper into it let's click outside of it and then you can also scroll through with this arrow button if you want okay um that is great now another thing i wanted to show you in this is that not only you can um, filter it out, filter it out but you can also debug your model another use case of 51 is uh, being able to easily visualize and explore your model prediction to find failure cases that need to be addressed to improve performance. So, for example, if uh, you can uh, create, compute the map of the predictions in the predictions field with respect to the ground truth label in the ground truth table. Let me show you. And as I mentioned earlier, these are examples from their GitHub. Now let's run it. So what it is, all it is doing is it is just creating the map of the predictions and we have only 200, so it is quite speedy. So let's wait for it to finish. Just performing IOU speed, that's it. So map is generated. Now let's um, evaluate only predictions with confidence greater than 0.75 as you can see here so let me run it shouldn't take too long 
and once we have it the good thing is that now we can um, print a classification report and then there are a lot of performance reports we can generate from this for example in the first report we are getting the 10 most common classes in data set let me run it and then uh, we are printing that classification report so there you go so the top 10 are person kite car bird character these are the uh, classes it has found in all of the images with the and it has put given us the precision recall and other parameters plus another great thing it has given us the weighted average too now we can if you want you can also print the data set because what happens is that when you run the above command this evaluate detection method this populate a new fields in our data set that count the number of true positive and false positive so if you run it so there you go as you can see that it has now populated more fields in our data set which is which could be proven very handy later down the road and if you want to see it we can also visualize this thing let me run it again with session dot view let's run it and it is it lets wait for it to populate the cell with the visuals and then we can see that how it goes let's wait for it to load so it is loading now there you go let's uh, let's wait for all the images to load it so you can see that the samples with most number of false positives are the crowded scenes so these are all the false positive but most of them are crowded so it tells us where in our data set the problems are so we should change our training scheme or data set to better identify and manage the crowds of objects so these sort of evaluations about false positive you can do with this 51 and as you can see that it is open source free it is very very easy to use you just need to load your data set and then you can do a lot of things around it and to improve its quality and as i mentioned earlier once the quality is improved your model will be improved and there are and i have just touched the tip of the iceberg of this 51 there are a lot of things in this which can be very handy for any machine learning engineer so i would highly suggest if you are into this you should explore this tool they also have a website which let me show you where you can find more information there are also some paid products which you can check and then um, there are a lot of good documentation around it you can uh, schedule a workshop if you want and there are a lot of things with it so i'm very stoked um, i'll be exploring it further on various other data sets even on the custom data sets very soon so stay tuned i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you